podcasting from Westminster College Studio. This is The Buzz, where we recap last week's Titan Athletics, talk about the upcoming Titan events, and hopefully provide a closer look in Titan sports. This is your host, Nate LaRisha, and my co-host, Nick McDonald. What's up? We both represent the Sports Information Office here at Westminster. What is Sports Information, Nick? Well, it's um, a lot of things, but mainly it's a lot of sports dealing with a lot of information. We inform people about sports. That's pretty much all we do. Now, let's start off right away with the Titan volleyball team. Um, Senior Shanna Daniels will be joining us later in this segment, so make sure you stick around or maybe mute us for 10 minutes and then unmute us to listen to that interview. What a better team to start off than the Titan volleyball team. They're on a school record 18-match winning streak. They went 3-0 last week. They swept Geneva, Chatham, and they clinched the school record 18-match consecutive uh, win with a 3-1 win against Bethany. Senior Delaney Saxon led the Titans in kills with 36 for the week. First year, Becky Edelman totaled seven blocks, 23 kills, with a 488 hitting percentage, Nick. Yeah, that's great. I mean, we, we look all the way back to September 7th, which was Friday. The, uh, that was the first win of the streak against Allegheny, and they went 54-10 and 10 in sets during that streak. So very, very impressive. Now, Daniels, as I mentioned, she will be join, joining us in a little bit here, but she tallied a, a team-high 58 assists. Her classmate, Rachel Moore, totaled 54 digs. Now, looking forward to extend their win streak, the Titans will face Waynesburg on Thursday, tomorrow night, or you know, whenever you're listening to this podcast. But it's going to be Thursday, or whenever we get it edited, one of the two. But also, they will host W and J on Saturday for homecoming at 11 a.m. Now, if you have to set your alarm for 11 a.m., I hear you. But listen, it's definitely. Worth it. Price of admission. Now, Nick and I, we get in the events free because we work here, but Westminster, they don't charge for volleyball matches to begin with, and I think they should. And I would pay a pretty dollar to go to this match, Nick. Yeah, but it is also the best price for any college student, and it's free. So head on over to, you ready for it? The Buzz. I was not ready for it. Uh, Well, at 11 a.m. to see a great match. Last time, the Titans down 0-2 at W&J went back to win a five-set thriller as they were down 16-25, 22-25, then went on to take set three, 25-21, then a 27-25 set four victory, then to win 15-13. So I think this is the match of the year, I think. It's especially a, a great rematch, and hopefully students can come out and support. I would second that. Now, as you know, Nick said, you know, arguably – Back when they beat him in September, 3-2 in comeback fashion, I think that was their best win during that streak. So they look for the season sweep on Saturday. To- Let's also not discredit the fact that they have 22 wins. You know, the streak's awesome to say all those 18 matches, but they beat Frostburg State, John Carroll, and Oberlin, along with LaRoche, before the streak, and they lost to a very tough Mount Union team. They're 22-1 right now. And if you follow us on Twitter, we did this Titan stat of the day, and Westminster, as of Monday, was only three schools in the nation with 22 wins, which is most of anyone in the whole nation. Next up, the Titan football team. They lost a PAC heartbreaker on Saturday at Grove City, 36-33. to It was really a back-and-forth contest. And to me, it seemed like whoever had the ball at the end was going to come out on top. Shaman Walker ran for a career high, 114 yards, on 16 carries and added a career-high two scores on the ground. Uh, junior Paul Gonzalez tied a career-high 13 tackles and added one tackle for a loss. Nick, what did you see in that game? I mean, Shimon Walker obviously used his legs at the quarterback position, dual threat. I mean, he did a great job, uh, career-high two rushing touchdowns. I think this Westminster defense, you're getting a little banged up, but they're still producing a lot of great stats. I mean, you got Paul Gonzalez, 13 total tackles, um, Bill Madeja, 11. Um, and then the freshman Bryce Thomas coming in, stepping up big for this team this year with six tackles. I think th- overall this team is a very good team, and I think it was just a very tough battle in a very tough environment against Grove City, so I think they'll bounce back. 
that we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about freshman punter Dawson Porter. He punted six times, get this, for almost 300 yards, 299 to be exact. He broke the school record with an average of 49.8 yards per punt with a PSC best long of 70 yards. The Titans looking to get back on track after a loss at home to nationally ranked Case Western a couple weeks ago. And as we said, a tough PAC battle loss at Grove City last week. Now, coming up, they will host Teal for their homecoming game. Now, I don't know if you knew this, Nick, because you weren't here, but the last time they played the Tomcats was in 2015. And the reason, now they're a conference team, as we know, but since um, when Thomas Moore was in our conference and then we had Case Western and Carnegie Mellon, which they are still, the last two are still in our conference, but there was an unbalanced schedule, so we not everyone played one another. So that's why always the first game was not conference. So as actually 2015 was the last time the Titans played the Tomcats. They won 49-6, to and last time they hosted them was in, was in 2014, and it was coincidentally a homecoming game, and they won 40-28. to Wow. That's a great stat. Titans stat of the day? Yeah, I, nah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll let our uh, followers decide that. We'll, we'll have a poll up later. Next up is the Titan men's soccer team. They went 1-1 one one in the PAC last week, defeating Waynesburg 4-0 before following to Geneva in a tough PAC bout 2-1. to one. Nick Aragi total nine shots, six shots on goal, one score, and an assist for the week. Now Nick, Nick, now Nick, Nick, hmm. Nick, uh, load yeah. in. Aragi yeah. is, doing, is doing some damage out there. Yeah, well, Nick Aragi, my name's Nick, too, so great name, first of all. But second, Nick leads in, I think it's literally every statistical category, he leads in goals, with 12 in the PAC, that is leads in points 29, shots 37, shots per game. Um, everything that Nick is doing right now on the on the pitch, and you know, that's what you say. It's not field; it's pitch in soccer. You didn't know. Do you that need that. an accent while I was saying that? Uh, no. Nah. I don't. I mean, how can you say pitch in an accent? Anyways, whatever. Everything that Reggie's doing, of course, with the sporting cast, you got Peter Maddox up top, Shane Fallon in the midfield, Ahmed Cisse, which my favorite name to say Ahmed Cisse. He likes that. Um, they're overall the Titan soccer team is doing great stuff this year, and you know they they lost a tough one to Geneva last week, but I think they're really going to bounce back. And you know, looking forward to Teal today for Senior Day, as well as St. Vincent on the road this weekend. Next up, the Titan women's soccer team. They went undefeated in conference play last week, two and zero, defeating Waynesburg three to two, and an overtime thriller before beating Geneva 1-0. Nick, you were at that Waynesburg game? I was, yeah. It was a great game. I mean, Waynesburg got on the board early, and you thought, oh, wow, like, Waynesburg's, you know, they're they're a good team, but they came out really quick scoring, but then we scored right back within, like, 10 minutes, but it went into overtime, and Josephine Barnhart had, like, a 45-yard cross right in the box to find junior Kayla Trozzi to, to win the game. It was a very exciting game, and, and now they're 4-0 in the conference, um, after beating Teal last night on Senior Day with Keely Bursick's first ever career hat trick, so um, women's soccer—it's very exciting to watch. Eleven and three overall. I mean, last year's record totaled an overall record of ten and nine, so they already have more wins this year than last. So there are great things happening here at Westminster for both soccer's, and I think they keep it rolling. They'll be the top two, or maybe even first in the PAC. Now, as you mentioned, with that hat trick. Bursick now leads the PAC in goals with nine. And points, 23 is a team high. Um, now, PAC soccer, any game, it's so close. There's just The margin for error is so small. And all it takes is a goal here, a goal, goal there. And, um, you know, the PAC competition is, is so great. So, you know, PAC soccer, it's so exciting to watch. Make sure you come out, look at our – you know, schedules online, and come out and support your Titans. The next up is the cross-country team. They did not compete last week, um, but the previous week they competed at w &J Invitational. Junior Katie Schrantz highlighted the day as she won with a time of 21.59.30. Um, she, um, in winning, she earned the SAC Titan Athlete of the Week. Um, so that was an exciting time for the Titans. They will they compete at Oberlin at 10:30, and it's the last match before the PACs, Nick. Yeah, I think it's something we shouldn't discredit either. I mean, 
the ECAC switched their module of of weekly awards to monthly reward awards. So, and also let's go back to men's soccer real quick. Nick Oregi won Offensive Player of the Month in the ECAC, but Katie Schrantz, who we just mentioned, who got first place, won Runner Division Three South Runner of the Month, which is something to be very proud of as a school athletic community. It's something we're very proud of. So congratulations to her. And this team seems to be stepping up. I mean, you look at other um, girls that ran in that in that race. Um, first year Kelly Samora, sixth place. Then sophomore Aaron Ward was seventh place. And you go to the men's side. You know Harrison Keenan, only a sophomore, he got fifth place. Great uh, outing by them last week against W and J, and things should keep going. Head coach Tim McNeil, I think he wants nothing else than to compete um, the toughest they can at Oberlin on Saturday because. Even if you don't win, but you still get personal best, and it's just all about that momentum heading into the PACs. Next up is golf. Um, women's golf is the only team that competed uh, last week at Worcester, but it, a week before that, they did have their fall championships, and it's a little different um, the, how the conference championships work for golf. It's a combined um, fall and spring effort to decide the champion, champion and the all-conference winners, but the men's team finished fourth, are sitting fourth, I should say, and the women's team are second. Well, it's something we should we should point out here too is in the the PAC championship, the fall for the women, um, is the first time since 2011 that Westminster finished four golfers in the top ten after the two day event. And back in 2011, they won the PACs. So I think it's something to note that this team is is very good. Another thing we would like to note for the men's golf team, back in. September, September 18th, junior Avery Andrick was a medalist at the LaRoche College Invitational as he shot a 76. Yeah, I wish, you know, golf, unlike basketball, volleyball, and soccer, there's a lot of play-by-play you can go off of. But in golf, unfortunately, there's not. But he actually won on a playoff hole in the the 19th hole, per se. And he won at LaRoche, obviously, with a 76. So congrats to him. And hopefully, you know, next uh, season in the spring, you can do the same thing. Last but certainly not least is the Titan women's tennis team. They went 1-0 last week. And as they prepare for the PACs, which is next Tuesday already, they will travel to Grove City, who's first in the PAC standings at 6-0. 6-0 PAC record. And they also host St. Vincent at home, who are fourth. So the Titans really looking, I mean, I, I believe the playoffs start now for the PAC championships. Yeah, I mean, you look at the last three matches that they've played in, dates back to actually to Monday, September 24th. Um, they're, they went 9-0 and against Penn State Barra, 9-0 against Waynesburg, and then 8-1 and against Teal. But they actually had three straight rain delays, which, you know, you think, oh, they're getting rest, but they act, I think they want to keep playing. So the rain, hopefully it stays away. But shout-out to um, Junior Margot Mason, two straight weeks for PAC Rookie of the, the Week doing great things at the number one single spot and she's teaming up with junior alley marzuka so big match against grove city but i think you know if they can win that i think they're going to be sitting real good going to the pacs the titans they're they have been PAC champions four times in the past six years and at this time we'd like to recognize the titan student athletes who earned weekly honors from last week's performance Performances. First up is Junior Rally to George. She was named the President's Athletic Conference Player of the Week for volleyball for the second week in a row. She recorded 33 kills, 44 digs, five blocks, and tallied three service aces, leading the Titans to three wins, extending their win streak to 18. The next award winner was first year Ashley Frank. For women's soccer, she was named the President's Athletic Conference Rookie of the Week. She totaled two shots, one shot on goal, one score, and an assist combined last week in the Titans' victories over Waynesburg and Geneva. And our third winner was junior Margo Mason. She earned the PAC Rookie of the Week in women's tennis for the second week in a row. She earned a 8-0 number one doubles victory with classmate Alex Marzuka against wow. Waynesburg. She also earned a set straight victory in number one single 6-0. Six zero. Oh. Something to look at with these three athletes when you watch volleyball match and Riley DeGeorge serves. You know, you look at Michael Jordan always knock down the shot, but Riley DeGeorge will always get a service ace. Not every time, but she's always usually averaging three to four service aces the match. So 
yes, I did just compare Michael Jordan and Riley to George, but hey, that's okay. You're welcome, Riley. Then you look at Ashley Frank, that ga- match against Waynesburg, she had the uh, go-ahead goal to tie the game up at one. Um, and then just recently, uh, last night, she gave the assist to Keely Bursick for her hat trick. So she's doing great things on and off the ball with the defensive side as well as assisting players. And then Margo Mason um, doing great things on the on the court. And she, you know, she's a uh, junior, but it's her first year here at Westminster competing. She's already the number one singles player and going in and defeating opponents 6-0, 6-0. And like I said earlier with Marzuka at the number one doubles. Now we are joined by senior setter number 16 shanna daniels yes yes hey, applaud on, applaud two, sorry you forgot the two claps nick oh oh yeah yeah no. yeah thank you jeez <laughs> hey, shanna thank you for joining us on the buzz um one thing with that if those listeners out there who have never been to a volleyball game tell you about volleyball game shame on you first but mm. second when we uh, make the starting lineup announcements, we say that usually the number, the name, and then both teams do two claps at the same time. Now, Shannon, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it'd be cool to do something like the basketball team for the lineups. They come off the bench, there's music, you know, we could add some lights there. I think we could really get into those names, you know. Number 16, Shanna Daniels. And I think one time I wanted to do that, but then I'm like, I'm kind of under pressure because – the two claps are coming. No, you know what? I'm cool with excluding the two claps. I think it's cool the light sequence, you know, make us look like shadowy figures. Then, like, lights come down, Shanna's here. You know what I mean? I'm here for it. Absolutely. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm for that. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll put a pitch in. Maybe we'll do a little trial and <laughs> show Coach Tammy Swearing, head coach Tammy Swearingen and see if we have her blessing on that. But, um, Shanna, you know, thanks again for uh, joining us. Um, you know, Titan volleyball team, wow, on a school record 18 uh, match winning streak. Um, you know, what do you attribute to that success? Um, personally, I contribute just like energy, keeping everyone, you know, calm, focused. Yeah, this winning streak's awesome, but what we want to do is win pack. So it's not just about breaking records, but if we do it along the way. I'm totally in support of it. But So I know one question we wanted to ask was when you were going into the Bethany tri match, this past weekend. Did you know that you guys were close to the school record? No, none of us knew that at all. We went in, uh, Bethany had started this like huge campaign to beat Westminster at their school. Like they printed out this huge flyer that said, um, friends don't let friends go to Westminster. And like all these tweets about us and stuff. So they had a vendetta to beat us, which is like, you know, powered us more to want to beat them. But yeah, we had no idea the record was a thing. We just wanted to beat Bethany. You, you shut them up. We did. That's okay to say, right? You shut them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, I mean, my biggest question was, you know, what was the mood like in the locker room or among the players? Because, I mean, four or five wins is, you know, it's good, but like 16 or 17 wins is a lot. So, like, were you guys thinking about it? I know you said you didn't think about the streak, but was it like, wow, we're doing really well, or you just kept playing your game like usual? Um... I know, like, the freshmen were nervous because, you know, they're – this is the best record I've ever had in the first four in the first four years. And, you know, um, they were nervous. We told them, like, you know, Bethany's a good school. It's not it's not a bad thing to lose them, but they're not going to take a win without a fight. So just play your game. Don't worry about the, the fans, what they're saying to you. Just play your game. And that's what we did. Took the dub. I got to clarify something. So on our website, athletics.westminster.edu, we have your hometown as Hermitage, PA. Yes. Now, we have inside access to look up student athletes' high schools and majors, stuff like that, so we could, I know we did get your major wrong, we confirmed that <laughs> early, but still, we have that information if we really try hard. But on there, we have your hometown as Alliance, Ohio. Alliance, Ohio? I don't know what's up with that. That is, no. I'm pre- unless there's another Shannon Daniels out there, but I don't believe there is. I don't think so either. But your high school is definitely Billy C. Ryan High School, correct? Yes. In Texas. Yes, in Texas. Now, talk about your journey from Texas to Western Pennsylvania? <laughs> well, the whole reason why I'm here is definitely because of my dad. He um, worked in the oil field. And for like the first eight years, we moved to Texas. He'd go back and forth, and it was just like a huge strain on our family. So after me and my older brother graduated high school, they wanted to relocate up here. I didn't want to go. You know, bigger everything's bigger and better in Texas. 
Um, if I'm not going to Penn State, Dad, I'm not going to Pennsylvania. Like, I don't know what's out there, the Amish. Didn't know that was a thing until I came here either. So um, he's like, you know what, just come up, see what, like, see what it's like for when you come on, like, the breaks and stuff. So I came up, and, like, the third day, he's like, listen, you're going to get dressed. You're going to go to this college. You're going to meet this coach. You're going to like it, and you're going to go. And I was like, Dad, oh, my God, no, I'm not going to go. But I came. I saw the campus, fell in love, uh, loved the coach, loved the team, and I decided to stay. What's your dad's name? Craig Daniels. Craig Daniels. Yeah. Well, shout out to Craig Daniels. <laughs> um, Isn't that an seven. actor? Is that an actor? No, it's Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels yeah. is the actor. Well, yeah. Cousin, maybe. Yeah, yeah, probably cousin. Distant, yeah. It's no big deal. So how, how did how did your dad hear of Westminster? He, um, when he'd be working up here and realized he wanted to relocate, he'd ask around, and everybody said Westminster was just a high school, like really good school to get into. Just I don't, everybody talks so highly of it. So that's awesome. Now you've been a mainstay uh, at Westminster. You instant starter. Uh, currently, you know, this year you lead the team in assists, third on team in service aces. And, um, you know, I know you've had some injuries just like anybody else, you know, who's played, you know, all those matches during during your, your four years here. Um, but what keeps you going and, you know, what do you, what do you attribute your personal success to? Um, one thing that keeps me going is that I only have four years to play, and this is it for me. So injuries, whatever it is, I don't care. Tie me up, fix me, put something on me, make me better. Whatever it takes, I want to play. Um, with personal success, uh, my team is always pushing me, always. Like, when I had that big fall a couple of weeks ago, my teammates were like, you know, like, we got to do this. You got to be here for this. You're the setter. You got to lead us. You got to help us out. You got to go. So without my teammates and my coaches just pushing me to not worry about it, just play my game, just keep going, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Yeah, we, were, we were definitely uh, grateful that, you know, you played the next match because, you know, we were there when um, – when you went down and uh, you're good to go now? Yeah, I'm good. You ready good. to go? Good. Yeah, Awesome. Absolutely. Good. Good. To you. We don't want to get into details, you know, to give any opponents any inside yeah. information. But um, <laughs> now you're a, we clarify this ahead of time, but you're a criminal justice major with a chemi chemistry minor. Yes. Now, you know, wh what is your goal post graduation? Um, I want to work with troubled teenagers, um, just get them back on the right track, let them know that there's someone out there that believes in them. So, kind of. Working with, like, George Jr., places like that was, like, my goal. You want to stay here or go anywhere in the nation? Um, anywhere I can help, really. Okay. But my mom wants me to stay, so hopefully George Jr. wants me. Hey, George, George Jr., if you're listening, Sheena Daniels, I'll send my resume. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, send it, we'll send it a link to the podcast. Thank you. Right. Volleyball celebrations. <laughs> what Do you have a favorite, and um, do you ever think about spicing it up? Um, honestly, archers are pretty cool. They're pretty great. I give a shout out to the to our bench, Haley Moore, sophomore. She's been leading them and just like keeping everyone hyped on the bench for us because without our bench, we have nothing. We don't have energy or anything like that. But my favorite one has to be the ace cheer. A lot of people don't like it. It's super corny, but it's the best. It makes everyone laugh. All right, can we get it? Can we get it live here? Are you on live? Okay. So, so there. Nick spike, Nick, Nick serves it, goes over the net, hits. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Team receiving air, Westminster. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ace. A little shimmy, clap over the head, step back in, bring it in like it was nothing. I like it. Yeah. Huh. Now it was even better in person yeah. for those listeners if we yeah. had if we had the video. Nick, Nick promised <laughs> yeah. video the first podcast, Sorry. but he didn't deliver. Sorry guys. Late soccer night, <laughs> long soccer game last night. But we appreciate that. Yeah, I think that's that's one thing. I think every point matters. It's rally scoring, of, of yeah. course. So, and I think you, it's important to celebrate each point. Rapid fire questions. Rapid fire. That's what everyone's been waiting for. Yes. Sh Shanna doesn't even know about it. No, I don't. So, how this works, Shanna? We're going to alternate questions, so it's it's going to be quick. Um, hopefully, we'll have some music to go with it to make it even more interesting. <laughs> but basically, hopefully, it's only a one word um, answer, okay. and then this this kind of get the listeners and. Um, you know, to, to learn a little bit more about our student athletes. And we ready to go, Nick? Yeah, you want to take the first one? I'll, I'll take the first one. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Texting or talking? Talking. Favorite day of the week? Wednesday. Favorite city in the U.S. besides the one you live in? Denver, Colorado. Nickname your parents used to call you? Chunky Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Last song you downloaded? I like it. By who? I don't know. It's a good song, though. Oh, okay. Google it. <laughs> okay, yeah, Google it. Would you rather be able to speak every language in the world or be able to talk to animals? Talk to animals. 
favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. Fill in the blank. Taylor Swift is awesome. If you could travel back in time, what period would you go to? 1960s. Favorite junk food? Hot Cheetos. Favorite childhood TV show? Proud Family. Favorite season? Fall. <laughs> Cake or pie? Pie. Say a word in Spanish. Espanol. <laughs> Favorite number? 16. 16, yeah. That's <laughs> Have you ever worn socks with sandals? Yes, every day after practice. <laughs> Is double dipping at a party ever acceptable? Absolutely. That's, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right that was, well, that it, was our it first yeah first rapid fire now you know going forward we'll talk about this uh in the podcast if we haven't already but uh the volleyball team has uh, waynesburg thursday and then they have a uh, w and j washington jefferson on saturday here and i was telling nick in preparation that you know i work here so i don't have to pay for admission uh, we don't charge for admission for volleyball but i feel like that match i feel like we should pay we should charge for admission because i think that's gonna be a hot ticket yeah, it is. um you know i think i arguably in my opinion that i think that was probably one of the westminster's best wins during the streak mm -hmm. they came back 2-0 um you know 2-0 in the match but then 13-9 in the fifth set you know shannon what do you remember from that from that match man i remember after every riley de george was serving and after every serve, right before he served, I just had a little prayer of just God be with us. <laughs> if we're supposed to win this game, all the honor and glory goes to you right here. This is it for this is it. Um, I was super nervous, but I also knew we could beat them. We could play. We could play with them. Obviously, we went to the fifth set. So why fight this hard if we're not going to take it yeah. all? Yeah, be up. there. Come out, sport your Titans. 11 a.m. Right. Yes, 11 a.m. I got I got a blank stare. Just making sure. <laughs> I, maybe we had it, maybe we had it wrong on our schedule. No, but yeah, 11 a.m. Time right now. Oh, like sorry, sorry. Clock, uh, that's my hey, fault. Let's not forget the streak is still alive. It's still it alive. It's out there. Yes. Keep keep it going. You know, one one match at a time. I'm sure uh, Coach Swearingen would would agree with that. And Shannon, thanks again for joining us. Our first first ever podcast here. Hopefully, you'll share it with your uh, teammates and. Uh, um, you know, best of luck the rest of the year, health wise, uh, success wise, and we'll be pulling for you from uh, Press Row. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Shanna. Yep. Thanks. Make sure you follow Titan Athletics on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and all things Titan Athletics, including feature stories, schedules, video, and everything in between. Go to athletics.westminster.edu. Thanks for listening to The Buzz with Nate Larisha and Nick McDonald. What's up? If you like our show and want to hear The Buzz past shows, check out TitanRadioLive.com or where you get your podcasts everywhere, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Join us next week as we recap this weekend's events, including football's homecoming game against Teal, volleyball's PAC showdown against W&J, looking to extend their win streak, and women's tennis team preparing for the PACs, and much more. And our guest will be a surprise, Nick, top secret. So you'll have to tune in to see who our next student-athlete guest will be. Thanks for joining us.